it's called Capturing Brain Dynamics, and it's a combined engineering and neuroscience approach. Um, I'm interested in drawing students from um, arts and sciences and engineering um, together and study um, the brain. And we've attracted uh, students from psychology, speech and hearing sciences, uh, the neuroscience program here, and also computer science engineering with some electrical engineers uh, involved as well. We also have undergraduates uh, at the senior level, um, all the way up to uh, graduate students and postdocs, and even uh, established research scientists been sitting in. I'm eager to um, use this as an opportunity to see how many people I can get involved doing MEG research on campus. I wanted to take the MEG course because MEG as a technology will be particularly effective in studying how humans perceive sound. But there's not that many people trained in this technology, there's not that many people doing it. So I think learning about it really gives people a foot up. I think the brain is fascinating. The things that I learned from this class uh, that were most relevant were understanding the, the assumptions that go into MEG research, understanding how the physics behind uh, MEG works challenges you face in terms of the amount of data and, and what sorts of in information we can get back uh, from the analysis. It is very hard to teach a concept that has to penetrate to all disciplines. Um, but the nicest thing of all, when it's actually um, done properly, you get that synthesis, this, this, this synergy of when you have different disciplines coming in and realizing that, well, the sum is much more than its parts. Um, so my exper experience with the uh, uh, interdisciplinary nature, I thought it was a very interesting experience because I was exposed to people that were not engineers. I'm from an engineering background. A lot of the other people in the class were uh, from the social sciences. So just having that kind of perspective, it kind of opened up my thinking to different ways of approaching a problem. It's tough to have everyone um, bringing different pieces from their own corners, but I think it's worked well and um, it's quite impressive from um, 10 weeks of not knowing where MEG to um, understanding how to use that technology properly and answer um, quite um, sophisticated neuroscience questions.